Hello everyone, it's GSG and I thank you for watching this new video. Today we're going to talk about the 12-in-1 hub with an idea that's kind of the idea of the century because I love USB Type-C but the problem is that I don't have much besides my charger, my screen is in HDMI, my cards are in SD, micro SD, I always have USB keys, there you go. So maybe this 12-in-1 hub could be a bit of the ultimate solution. Well, for me, I think it's good. Come on, Jason, uh, because seeing products in photos is good, but seeing them in video is better. So unleash yourself and discover all our high-tech or smartphone tests. In the box, we will also have our docking station. Okay, we will also have a USB Type-C to Lightning adapter, which goes quite well with my iPhone 14 Pro Max that is still in Lightning. We'll see. Well, one of the promises, a 12-in-1 adapter. When we look a little at the front, a USB Type-C 3.0 port, not bad. A normal USB 3.0 port, okay. Then we will have a USB A port, it's 2.0. On the other side, a nice surprise, a display port to connect the screen. A display port, okay. And an Ethernet port in case you have Wi Fi issues and want a port. Also, I like it. So, when we look at the side, there's a USB port that promises power delivery. There you go, as an input to connect your power. And the power, a little bit of everything else. As you saw, that's pretty clever. We will also have, once again, a USB Type C port. Not bad, okay. We will also have two HDMI ports compatible with 4K at 60 FPS, okay. And a 3.5 jack. That's also good for connecting if your computer doesn't have one. There, at least you will have on the other side card readers, a micro SD card reader. Okay. And the card reader SD. That's good. I mean, even if you eventually need a small storage box, you put the cards in and it makes storage for you. But where they are strongest is on top. We have a small magnetic cover. So be careful. It's very magnetic, strong, strong. You won't risk losing it. A small magnetic cover that allows access a bit to the inside. And a little bit all the secrets because he has two secrets inside. So on the top part of the cover, we find our USB uh, type C cable. We never know where to put these cables. At least here, you know, your cable is inside. It's still pretty good. We will also have a USB to USB type C cable. Not bad. A USB type C cable to shish. So here it's micro USB, but if like me, you don't have anything left on that and you want to add your adapter with lightning, you can easily replace it. And then a USB type C to USB type C adapter. You says that's good. If, for example, for MacBooks, you have to put it on the side and everything, it's better to have long, ugly cables hanging on the side. And finally, on top of the case, there's a target extractor. I never know where it is. We have it on a pin and everything, but it's there. It's hidden there. Then we'll have two SD card slots. Below, you will be able to place two micro SD card slots. Ah, that's great. And finally, on the right, another SD slot. Two slots, either micro SD or micro SIM. But yes, because when you travel, there are always SIM cards, micro SD, you never know where to put them. Here you can still put three SD cards, uh, four micro SD or possibly SIM cards. That's really great. So convenient. I have to say yes a bit. Yes, already you will be able to connect three screens, three screens, 4K, 60 frames per second, whether you have Windows or a Mac. Once again, thanks to the USB standard. You can't connect just a little bit of everything to it. And that's good. For example, I don't want to connect my, my MacBook or even your phone. You want to put it on one screen or two screens, three. And finally, the power delivery 100 watts. That means you will connect your power supply with your 100 watt charger to it. And then the device will either power your Mac, for example, and power, for instance, your phone. Because yes, we have seen that in terms of USB Type-C prices, it was quite loaded. So it's still pretty good. And here, once again, you have a device that's powered and then powers everything else. So it's really the central hub of your setup. Plus it's made of aluminum and everything. It's super high quality. Plus it's magnetic. Surprise when you open the box. I mean, it's almost like a wedding ring. You open it, you go, oh, this is so great. Finally, uh, having put all the cables inside, I'm really a fan. And the SD cards, micro SD, but when I walk around, I never know where to put them and all. There are little pockets and all. You put them in there and all. And now I'm telling you how much for the 12-in-1 hub. Well, if we look on their site, it's 89 euros and 99 cents. If you divide by 12, the number of 89 euros and 99 cents, knowing that I have a promo code just for you, which is Jilled Review. You will find all the links in the description if you want to buy it. I can only agree with you. Come on, don't forget to leave me a comment below these videos to say what you think of this 12-in-1 hub. If like me, it's kind of the ideal hub. Plus, well, yes, you put an SD card, it acts as storage, it acts as a charger, it does. Yeah, it's really great. There you go. Don't forget to give a thumbs up or a thumbs down because here, all thumbs are allowed. Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss my next video. I'll see you in a few days.